We got involved in the Chiari and syringomyelia world about two and a half years ago when Allison was diagnosed with, with both of those disorders. Uh, right away when Allison's doctor referred us to the organization early on and they have been a, a great source of education for us. We like that CSF does so much to educate doctors and get the word out with awareness on what CSF and related orders is all about. The reason we got involved with CSF is we actually lost my mom three years ago from uh, complications of Chiari malformation. And we were looking to support a foundation and in memory of her. We formed our team Robin's Hope in memory of her. And um, we love CSF because not only are they all about um, research and researching these conditions, uh, you know, Chiari syringomyelia and related conditions, but they're also about education and that's a huge thing for us. Uh, like I said, um, just educating the community and the physicians is huge uh, for these disorders. So um, just having, you know, five family members with Chiari, um, we just really are all about supporting CSF. First got involved with CSF by attending the Washington DC Metro Group support group. Started attending those meetings and lectures and um, just became extremely educated by everything that they've shared. I got involved because myself and my children have been affected for the past several years. We have Chiari, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and I have intracranial hypertension. I've had four neurosurgeries my daughter's been affected since she was a toddler, and she's had four as well. So we've been involved since our diagnosis. Okay. So in 2003, um, I found out that I have a carry malformation um, through a MRI because I had a ocular migraine. Unfortunately for my twin sister, um, she has had neurological problems since birth. She was nine months old when she had a complete paralysis on the left side of her face and suffered multiple um, headaches and neurological disorders throughout her life. And they also knew that she had a carry malformation and they wanted to know if she, if it was acquired from a bone disease that she has that I don't have or if it was congenital. So when I had my first ocular migraine in 2003, I asked, that was about the time they were finding out she had Chiari, um, if they would do a my, um, MRI to see if I had a carry malformation to clear up my sister Laura's um, if it was acquired from bone disease. And I did find out that I had a carry malformation. And it was pretty ace, um, non-symptomatic at that time. Um, and then the only thing I was, I was very athletic and doing all kinds of stuff. And then I went to, moved to Maryland, tried to go back to school um, to actually get my degree as phys physician's assistant, but um, started having some neurological problems. And I actually was in a kayaking accident. And from that kiking accident, it dislodged my head just a little bit. And then all kind of hell broke loose, so we say. I got involved with CSF shortly after surgery. I started by, well, donating before I really could attend any of the events. But I really wanted to, one, meet other people, and two, get involved with helping out and raising awareness and actually, you know, becoming somewhat of an activist. So well, I was diagnosed with a Chiari malformation about almost three years ago now, right before my uh, senior year of college. And uh, after decompression about two years ago, I, I realized that a lot of people out there have it way worse off than I do. And I wanted to raise awareness and build support to help these people out too. I first got involved in the Chiari um, EDS and related conditions um, world, uh, it was about eight years ago actually, uh, when I started to have symptoms myself. Um, out of the blue, had been healthy my entire life with the exception of a few joint dislocations and uh, what I thought were normal dance injuries. Um, but I very quickly learned that these the symptoms I was having were not my typical injuries and were much, much more serious. So um, my mom and I searched for months and months and doctor after doctor to figure out what was going on with me. Um, shortly after finding out what Chiari and EDS and tethered cord were, I um, 
went to the CSF website, um, was directed there by several friends and found so many good resources and so that, that is how I got involved. Um, and then after that, um, my three siblings also were affected by the same conditions.